Good evening, folks. What's going on? It is the Earthmaster here. Kind of late, I know, on this Sunday evening, August 29th, 2021, about 10.55 p.m. West Coast time in California. Latest quake on the globe is a 2.5 right around the Puerto Rico area. Let's go ahead and cover a little bit of movement around the globe today. Quite a bit of activity kicking up into parts of the North American plate along the uh, western coast, including areas around California, and a little bit of movement off the coast of Oregon into the Gorda Ridges. This little earthquake struck earlier, 2.7, at about 10 kilometers below the surface in the Cascadia Range, or just outside of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. There's some movement ramping up around the geysers. Pretty good amount of activity kicking up there, and also some movement around the Willits area into the coast range of Northern California. Sliding down south into the San Andreas Fault System here. A little bit of movement around the slipping, er well, not slipping area, but the uh, creeping section. Uh, a couple small microquakes and also uh, some movement up here around the Antelope Valley area. But we've seen things kind of, well, they're still kind of kicking up. Not as intense as we've seen a couple days ago in this area, but we're still seeing a little bit of swarming. Uh, ramping up in that area. Also scattered quakes throughout Nevada, uh, just northwest of Tonopah. A little bit of further uh, movement around the Long Valley Supervolcano. Just a couple small microquakes kicking up in that region. And as we look down south here along the Ridgecrest area, kind of seeing a little bit of uh, uptick in aftershock sequences here. Uh, near Ridgecrest and also some movement uh, right along the Garlock Fault structure. Kind of watching that uh, pretty closely. 1.4 looks, uh, looks to be right smack dab in it uh, and pretty shallow as well. 0.2 kilometers, very shallow earthquake there. Uh, some movement around Los Angeles. A couple small microquakes and a little swarm of activity kicking up here right along the San Andreas Fault Zone. It is the Mojave section uh, let's see where we're at here kind of kind of a kind of an area to watch right any kind of swarm activity is worth mentioning uh, especially with it being right next to or right I would say it's pretty much right smack on it just to the west a little bit just a little bit maybe a half a mile or so to the west swarm of earthquake activity nothing major but it is a sign of seismic increase and it's down there too, about eight, nine kilometers for the majority of these quakes, indicating uh, some, some, some movement there. We gotta pay very close attention to that San Andreas Fault area. Uh, this area south is uh, capable of producing a, a significant sized quake. The big one, so to speak, you know. Kinda, kinda like the, my mom and dad always used to tell me the big one's gonna hit, the big one's gonna hit. California is gonna fall off in the ocean. Well, that's not gonna happen. California is not gonna fall off in the ocean. But the big one will hit this area southward is where it's going to be, <clears throat> at least for the San Andreas Fault. Uh, movement along the San Jacinto Fault area as well, kicking up. Uh, what do we got here? Just a couple small microquakes. Uh, we've seen quite a bit of deep movement here in Southern California recently. Uh, below that 10-kilometer threshold that I kind of look for when I, when I shoot for like a... Uh, looking at some, some deep plate movement. And uh, we're seeing a lot of it in Southern California recently. No swarming activity around the Salton Sea, but definitely some uh, some movement along the San Jacinto Fault area and areas to the north. Uh, we did have a little earthquake activity over here around Mexico, way over here, almost to the Gulf. And this one is pretty deep, 122 kilometers for a 5.1 earthquake. I don't recall too many quakes in this area go ahead and check out well it looks <laughs> at least in recent times anyway uh, looking at the historical seismic activity looks as though and according to the key this is a hot spot uh, for deeper movement see all these earthquakes here and, and some big ones as well looks like some six to seven magnitude quakes uh, just to the south of the epicenter of this one today see that star indicating that 5.0 uh, or 5.1 that struck uh, a little bit earlier today. 
Uh, Puerto Rico, as I mentioned, a little bit of activity ramping up here in the southwest area of the Puerto Rico area, but n nothing major, nothing really going on around the Puerto Rico Trench. A little quake out here in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge area, 4.9. And um, areas to the west here along the Pacific Ring of Fire, uh, extremely quiet for the moment. It was quiet yesterday and it's quiet today, so kind of watching this movement or this lack of activity here. Hawaii getting in on some action as well as Tonga region. Let's go ahead and check out Hawaii real quick. Uh, still seeing some underground magma movement. Man, if that doesn't tell you there's magma movement taking place there, I don't know what will. That's very well defined uh, for uh, magma movement. Very shallow quakes and a line of activity indicating magma flow towards the uh, Kilauea crater area. Then the last hour we're seeing thir three earthquakes or so in the lower two range 104 earthquakes just within the last 24 hours <clears throat> so we're kind of watching that um, not for sure if these guys have updated anything yet on the uh, Kilauea volcano update we'll go ahead and check that out real quick if they are operational Doo -doo -doo -doo. normally it does not take this there we go kind of slow that's very very odd maybe people are flooding them or maybe they're having some issues here I know it's not my internet because uh, everything's loading fast on all other pages um so yeah still sitting at a yellow advisory I'll keep an eye on this see if things uh, ramp up a little bit here's an article put out looks like today um, ground deformation and earthquake activity continues beneath Kilauea summit region the island of Hawaii but as mentioned it's still uh, volcano alert level yellow aviation or uh, advisory aviation color code is yellow um, Kilauea volcano is not erupting yet however intrusive activity that began on August 23rd continues south of the Kilauea caldera the ground deformation uh, in the south summit region continues south summit region is what we've seen that line of activity on the map uh, though at a rate slightly lower than the rates seen in the first intrusive uh, pole spanning uh, from the 23rd to 25th. <clears throat> so, yeah, still kicking up. Um, something to watch, right? Any type of movement there at, uh, at any volcano like that. Very obvious sign of magma um, movement. Uh, some further movement down here in the southeast corner of the Big Island. The rest of the uh, chain looks pretty uh, quiet for now. Still seeing some activity down here along the South Sandwich Islands, but just not as active. A little bit more towards the middle. Kind of comes and goes. You get movement down here in the south and it switches up here to the north. Now we're just kind of seeing a, a swath of uh, some activity around the middle area of the trench, the South Sandwich Trench. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, pretty quiet. Um, let's go back to the previous day since it's kind of late. See activity there, pretty quiet, folks, along the Yellowstone Super Volcano. The trimmer map, though, pretty active <clears throat> into uh, portions of southern Oregon and northern California. This line of activity right here shows the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, down dip, downstream. Um, some pretty deep activity there. 25, 35 kilometers below the surface into that subducting area, showing trimmer right smack dab at the southern end. And uh, some further movement up here into southern Oregon. Looks like uh, about 74 epicenters of trimmer taking place over the last, uh, over, over today's time period. Uh, what else we got going on here, folks? Um, Solar weather, still kind of watching that. Uh, looking at that sunspot. 20, uh, what is that called here? 2860. Still kind of facing us a little bit and still looking uh, somewhat dynamic here on the uh, surface of the sun. A couple other sunspots, not as advanced as 2860, but still kind of watching it. Looking like uh, an up and down of geomagnetic possibilities here over the next couple days. Uh, still looks as though. We're looking at 85% uh, sea flare, uh, M flare at 30%, and still got a 5% chance of an X flare. Still pretty active looking. 
<clears throat> All righty, folks. Uh, I know a lot's going on with the uh, Hurricane Ida over there. I've seen some pretty crazy, unbelievable sights floating around on these social media pages. Uh, definitely thinking about those folks over there. Hopefully everyone got out. And um, I haven't really heard anything yet on any type of uh, injuries or otherwise. So uh, hopefully we don't. But I know uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty crazy looking um, with the storm surge and the high winds from Hurricane Ida down into uh, portions of Louisiana. All right, guys, have a good night. I just wanted to jump on here and, and do an update. I know I didn't get one last night. Just been kind of a little bit busy on this end. And, um, yeah, hope everyone enjoyed their weekend. Tomorrow's a Monday, right? Let's see what happens tomorrow. Just a whole lot of activity kicking off. See uh, Kilauea right there kicking up on a couple more earthquakes. Very well-defined, localized earthquake at the Kilauea area. We'll see if this thing uh, really ramps up tonight and, uh, and produces uh, an eruption. We'll see. See what happens. Have a good night, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there, everyone.